the display no longer works. You see how it's flashing? So the easiest way is to just put in a new display, and it's very easy to do. Here we go. You'll need a small Phillips screwdriver, and sometimes there's a screw here to hold the battery cover in place, sometimes there isn't. There we go. Unscrewed. Sometimes the battery cover slides out. It has something to do with whether it's um, waterproof or not. Here we're going to pop out the old battery. The battery is still good, apparently, because it was blinking. And now I have to remove the roller here. And there's another screw for this. These are very quick turning screws. They're self-tapping. Now this comes out. In this case, it slides out like this. Sometimes it just lifts off. There we go. Now, we have to get at the four screws that are underneath this identification plate down here. Good way to do it is to use a razor blade. This usually comes off quite nicely. And if it doesn't, use a little bit of uh, solvent, like um, alcohol or something. You'll want to keep this because after all, it identifies your caliper so that in the future, if you ever need parts, you'll know what kind, what model you have. And there are the four screws. Don't wipe off the glue because you're going to use the glue again to put the label back on. Again, the Phillips screwdriver comes out very easily. Don't lose these screws. There we go. I look at the inside here and I don't see any dirt whatsoever. If it were dirty, I would try to clean it off and put it back on and see if that was the problem. But since it looks like there's nothing wrong with it, obviously the electronics have gone bad. Also here, the beam has to be nice and clean, and it happens to be clean. Otherwise, use a little bit of alcohol on a piece of paper or a towel, like this maybe. And just wipe it. And we're all set to go. We take a new assembly unit. There it is. Put it in place. And get those four screws back in. Again, they're self-tapping, so at this point it may take a little bit more effort to get them started, but they go in quite nicely. Hand tighten only. And then go around and finish tightening them. Okay, let's put the thumb roller back in. That. And we have screw to hold it in. There we go. And now on this side we have to put the battery in. You probably can figure out which side is up. It's usually the side with the uh, wording on it. And the cover goes back on. And again in this case there is a screw here. Well, here we have those blinking lines again, but let's press the origin button and hold it for a couple of seconds. Presto. Good as new. The only thing we're going to do, like I said, we're going to put this label back on again. And since you still left the glue on, you shouldn't have to do anything else. Otherwise, you have other options, of course. You could use a tool and you could scratch the model number in underneath if you've lost this label or it won't stick. But you really want to keep track of what model you have. Without the model number, you'd never be able to figure out which reading unit you have to buy to make this easy replacement. 
Reading units are expensive, but because you can do it yourself, you'll be able to have a brand new caliper for less than half the cost.